Hi, my name is Pat, and this is my channel, Book Chat with Pat, and I'm glad that you're here. Today is Tuesday, and I'm going to be doing an original tag created by Heather Reads. This tag is called In Your Wildest Dreams, and I was tagged by the wonderful Aaron Facer. This tag has six prompts, all about your fantasy or dream reading experience or library experience um, or uh, bookshop experience. So the first question is your fantasy time and place to read a book. My favorite time um, and place to read is the very early morning before the sun comes up. Um, this is when I'm most alert uh, and when I actually do my, my best reading, when I retain the best. Um, I especially love reading uh, here in my living room, uh, especially if it's raining outside or snowing outside. Uh, any kind of weather that call, calls for me to, to be warm and cozy inside. Um, curled up on my couch under a blanket, that's perfect with a cup of coffee early in the morning and then with tea as as the day wears wears on in my dream world in my fantasy world i wish that i could read into the night but i can't um, after a certain hour i just can't read um, i fall asleep so i wish that i could like i used to be able to read well into into the night i also wish that i could read um, outside like i used to be able to but um, that's really hard for me to do now um, i used to like to read at the beach i used to like to read in the backyard in a park um, i i can't really do that anymore um, <clears throat> okay number two your fantasy personal library or your personal library if you have attained your fantasy. So I haven't attained my fantasy, but I have a very extensive library. Um, and I guess my ideal would be to have more of the kinds of books that I already collect. Um, more classics. You can't have too many Penguin classics. Um, more contemporary fiction. Um, I have an extensive poetry collection, but I'm always looking for new poets, so that could use some expanding. Um, I love to read memoirs, so more memoirs. Um, and I, I have an extensive uh, library in the areas of psychology and psychoanalysis, and, and those books are really expensive, so i be happy to have that part of my library um, expanded as as well um, and since I've been hanging around here on booktube I have become a fan of science fiction and I've just begun to uh, to to uh, build a science fiction library based on the advice and suggestions from uh, so many wonderful booktubers. So that's an area of my library that could use massive expanding, and that would be really, really fun to do. Um, okay, number three. Imagine you have decided to build a bookshop. What would you call it? Would it sell new or secondhand books? Would it sell anything else? And what features would you want in that shop? So I'm going to just call my bookshop Pat's Book Chat because um, it took me forever to figure out what to call this, this channel. Um, and, and because I am imagining this bookshop as a place where people can come and hang out and talk about books, the name will, will still fit. Um, so we used to, where I live, we used to have an independent bookseller and we had a secondhand bookseller and just a few miles away, we had a large Barnes and Noble. All three of those have closed. So my ideal fantasy bookshop would be some combination of all of those three. I would love to be able to sell new books. I would love to be able to sell secondhand books. I'd love for it to be a place where people could bring their books, where people could trade books, where people could look for, you know, hidden gems. 
<clears throat> I would also like to have um, comfortable chairs in this bookshop so that people would feel welcome to come in and browse, read, hang out, sit, talk, chat about books. Um, my Barnes and Noble that disappeared used to have big comfortable chairs all over the store and little by little the chairs disappeared um, and, then, and then the bookstore disappeared. Um, so comfy chairs that would invite people in. And I would um, sell coffee and tea and cookies or biscuits for all of my British friends. Um, I, I, being welcoming is, is the, the, the key word here, I think. Um, okay, number four. One person, not a booktube creator, with whom you can have a good conversation about books. <clears throat> if you don't know a person like this, who do you know that you wish would become a reader so that you could talk about books with them? Okay, I have lots of readers in, in my life, but the first person that comes to my mind, because this is a fantasy, this is a dream, would be to be able to um, have my mother back and be able to talk about books with her again. Um, I'm fairly sure that I am the reader that I am um, because of both of my parents, um, but I, I shared a lot of books with my mother. Um, we would recommend books to each other. Um, uh, we would talk about books um, and, you know, some of my earliest favorite books are my favorite books because they came to me through my, my mother. So. In my fantasy, I have my mother back and we can talk about books. <clears throat> in my current life, in my, my real life, my present day life, I have this amazing book group. Um, it is made up of uh, 10 people. We are all people uh, who used to teach together, except for one, one of the members of the group um, is one of my oldest and dearest friends. Um, but everybody else is somebody that I used to teach with. We have science teachers, we have a music teacher, we have a whole bunch of English teachers. Um, <clears throat> so teachers from many different disciplines. These are all people who have left the school district where we all taught together. Um, some have retired and some have just moved on to other places. Um, but this is a vibrant group where we talk about books not only in our book group but we talk about books all the time we have running texts going we have email exchanges we have phone calls um, we are all readers and we talk about what we're reading all the time um, okay number five if you won a million dollars or pounds or yen or euros etc um, and you could only spend it on books or book-related items, how would you spend it? So um, the first thing that comes to my mind is that um, I would buy as many of the, of the currently challenged and or banned books in this country. I would buy up as many copies of as many titles as I could, and I would share them as widely as I possibly could. Oh, and there'd be a section for all these banned books in my, my fantasy bookshop too. Um, but I would make sure that anybody who wants to read these books has the opportunity uh, to read them. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. I'd spend money supporting all of these authors who are being challenged. I would also donate to local um, assisted living facilities and nursing homes. I've had occasion to spend some time in some of these places uh, in recent years because of family members. And sometimes the libraries are in, in assisted living places and in nursing homes, sometimes the libraries are really neglected. And that would be something that I would really love to um, donate to uh, and, and build build up. Um, 
There is also um, an urban center uh, that I'm aware of, not, not f too far from where I am, uh, that supports um, battered women um, and their children, uh, and basically homeless women and, and children. Um, <clears throat> they feed them, they, they uh, clothe them, they provide them with educational opportunities um, to empower women and children who are living in extreme conditions and extreme poverty. I would build up a huge library in, in this particular place that I have in mind. And, and then, ideally, I would also like to find a way to donate books to prisons and juvenile detention centers. I know that you can't just go and donate books to a prison, but I would like to look into to literacy programs uh, in, in uh, prisons and juvenile detention centers, and I'd like to support those. Okay. And that was it. Number six, tag some others. So if you are watching this and you haven't done this tag, please consider yourself tagged. Um, I think this is a, a, a really, really wonderful um, tag and gives us lots of, lots of food for, for thought. But I am going to tag some specific people. I'm tagging um, Gavin at Genre Books. Uh, Debs at Rainer Reads, um, Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics, um, Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads, um, Nikki at My Messy Bookshelf, um, Renee at Beyond Books, um, and Ellen at Ellen Made, Ellen Made Book Club. Um, and anybody else who's watching this, please, please consider yourself tagged. This is, this is a, this is a fun one. Okay, that I think concludes my Tag Tuesday video. As always, I thank you for watching. I hope that you're doing well. I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.